Hey everybody, so um, <laughs> this is a, a, a video idea and we'll see how it goes, but um, right now it's like 5.45 in the morning and I wanted to show you like legit how I get ready in the morning, um, including skincare stuff, um, easy makeup because I have to get to class soon, so I'm just going to try and do this, nail it out, my voice is raspy, I just, I just woke up, so let's just get started, I'm going to try and show you morning routine, like the quick zippy kind because I have like zero time. I'm sure many of you when you get ready in the morning are in like a similar boat. So let's just try and do this and see what happens. So let's start. Um, I'm going to start off with like how I clean my face. So I use this Caudalie Gentle Cleansing Milk. You can see it, but you cannot. <laughs> Alright, well it's called Caudalie Gentle Cleansing Milk. It looks kind of like so. I hate that you can't see anything. Um, so I use, I like to use cleansing milk rather than like washes because I find that they're gentler on the skin. So I just rub it in and I wipe it off. I know that foaming stuff, right? That's how I think. So I just kind of Because it's the morning, I don't need to take do any like makeup remover stuff, so it's nice. Okay. Pardon the fluffies on my face. Okay, so get rid of all that jazz. Um, now I'm gonna use a toner. This is the Caudalie Caudalie um, lotion ton oh, moisturizing toner, um, and that. Supposedly, it's a very important step in your skincare routine. So, I mean, I just I started using this maybe like a few months ago. It's almost out. Um, this is just a sample, but I'm gonna get the full version soon. So, again, just kind of like wipe it across your face. It takes off like dead skin cells and so forth. So. And you're supposed to go down your neck and all that jazz. So and you'll see, there's like it's kind of like gonna be brownie because you're well, if you're brown, maybe if you're white, I don't know. Um, but it takes off dead skin cells, so you'll see that on there. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with my serum. The serum I use is the Polyphenol C15 Anti Wrinkle Defense Serum. So it's supposed to be like preventative um, and help to like protect your protect your skin against like free radicals. So it's like anti aging y like pre preventative rather than once you already have the wrinkles already. So I'm gonna use that. So like three drops, like that much. Um, and that will go. Um, so I'm gonna rub it in my hands. And then you kind of press it into your face rather than rubbing it um, to keep all of the, I guess the active ingredients intact. I don't know. I just listen to what the Sephora ladies tell me straight up. But there we go. And then I kind of do that to get the blood stimulating in there. And again, down your neck too. Okay, so there that is. Um, I really find that like these steps help to like wake up my skin. Um, I really love this. This is great. Um, I know I'm like I know I have like issues right now. Again, I think it's like largely stress, um, but I really like this stuff. Next, I'm going to use a moisturizer. This one is the. Premier Vendages, I don't know how to say this, moisturizing cream. It's kind of like with a green lid here. Um, I like it. I think it's really moisturizing, but it also is really, really fragranced. So if that's an issue for you, then like I don't recommend it. It's, it's, it's for, Even for me, I don't typically have problems with fragrance, but even for me, it's a little bit intense. So I'm going to go in an upward motion always when you're doing your skincare stuff. Um, to fight gravity. <laughs> okay. Okay, so there you go. Okay. Um, for eye cream, what I'm gonna be using is I can only have a sample of this right now. It's the Origins Ginseng. It's supposed to be like waking you up. Um, because it has caffeine in it and it's also got like it's a little bit pinkish, so it has like some kind of correcting magic in there. Um, 
so um, it's supposed to kind of depuff and also kind of like illuminate. Um, and I like it. I'll probably end up buying the full version when I um, run out of the sample. But again, with origin stuff, everyone always says a little bit goes a long way, but that's really true. Like, it really does. Um, like, I haven't been, I've been using this for like a couple of months, and I'm still maybe like, I can't see, but like, I'm like maybe halfway gone. So, it's pretty good. Um, goes a long way. Okay. So now I'm just going to let this sit for a second. Okay, next thing I'm going to use is um, the polyphenol C. It's called um, anti-wrinkle protect fluid. Um, and so what that is, it's actually has like an SPF in it. So it has all these like the same anti antioxidants um, and like anti-aging properties as the serum, but it has um, sunscreen as well. In the serum, you're always going to find like the most, um, it's going to be the most packed with like all the good stuff. Um, and things after will have a little bit less, but still serve an important purpose. So this is the sunscreen. And this stuff smells like heaven to me. I think everyone has their own opinion about it, but for me, I love it. Um, it's like, it smells so luxurious and magical. So the cuddly line, um, the cuddly line is from France, and they always use, like, grape extracts, I guess, um, because they're packed with antioxidants and stuff, so, um, yeah, but across their lines, like, so, like, the really intense anti-wrinkle aging one, and all the way down to, like, their preventative one, will all have different properties of a grape, um, which is cool. Um, so I really love that last step. That product's expensive, but, like, oh, I don't know, like, it's just so worth it for me. Um, and it's lasting me, like, it must last me since summer, so I'd say like six months and I still have some left. Six months? Maybe five months, let's round down. But um, it's really good. I love it. So, um, okay. So I'm just going to like let this hang out for a second, but skincare stuff, now you've seen it, that's done. So I'm done with that. Um, and like it kind of leaves you with a good surface to do makeup. And I actually, on a day-to-day -day basis, don't really use primer. Um, I, use, I use setting powder, but I don't really use primer. So I'll go ahead and show you. I'll just start. Probably would have been better to give it a second, but whatever, it's fine. So yeah, it does sometimes take a second to kind of like dry, I guess, but ain't nobody got time for that. So let's just go for it. So I'm gonna use this um, Kevin O'Quan um, Sensual Skin Enhancer in SX11. Um, again, on weekdays, I don't really use foundation. I just don't. I just no, I don't care enough. I just can't do it. Um, so um, SX11, and I'm um, use like that much. It's like a, a, a dab because it goes so far. So we're going to rub it in between my two fingers and just apply it where I want it. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's all we're going to do. Uh, there we go. Okay. I'm just rubbing, I'm kind of like patting it in. You get, you get crazy, stupid, amazing coverage from this product. And I know it's expensive. It's like, oh, I got like 45, 50 bucks for this little tub. But like, it's way, it's, it's amazing. So I kind of put it where I want it to highlight, sort of. And like, I also kind of, because you can see like, you know, I kind of just bring it down and just make sure it blends in with my eyelids as well. It typically stays there all day. So, like, yeah, that's gonna be, that's gonna be what happens. So, no foundation, just some concealer. Because I find that with all the skin products, like, I don't need to do too much anywhere else, you know? Um, with the forehead where I put it, I usually need to kind of blend it out and just pull it up and make it, like, as thin as possible. So, okay. Alright, so that's basically, like, the base and I'm just gonna go and like do blush and, and stuff like that now so um let's see do, 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 do. 
Um, okay, I'm gonna go in and I just I do do like a very light kind of contoury thing um, in the daytime. So, but I of course wrap my brush in the washroom. Pardon my sweats. It really actually is like five something in the morning. I was walking away to say that. I said it actually is like 5 in the morning, so 5.45. Okay, so I'm just going to apply, go down just for some definition. So you can see, going to give you some shape. I'll blend it out in a second. So there, and then we want, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry, it's, this is the Kevin O'Quan um, book, um, contouring book, it was, it was on, it was on sale, it was being sold for 65 bucks, I believe, but it has like a $200 value, it's actually really good, um, so for um, me, I use this color, this is the cream contour, and there's a cream highlight that's also really good, and then the powder highlight's really good. I can't use this color, it's too ashy for me. Um, but even for these three products, I think the, it's definitely worth the value. Um, and then that also comes with the eyeshadows, which, you know, like I don't, this is a little bit, this brown has a little bit too much readiness for me. So I tried to wear it, but it doesn't really happen for me. So, um, yeah, I don't really use those that much, honestly. But again, again for these three products, do, 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 I think it's worth it. Okay, moving on. So now I'm going to use a blush. Um, this is going to be the uh, NARS Luster. It looks like, if you can see it, if it will allow me to show you this color, which it won't. It's kind of got like an orangey, like peachy sheen. It's really pretty. Uh, when I saw it in the store, I was like, uh, girl, are you crazy? Did the girl in Sephora show it to me? But she was on point. She was so right. So, um, okay, so we'll go down and work out. It's always hard to do this on a computer screen. I don't know. It's just not easy. Okay. Okay. So the blush is on, and we'll kind of work into this area here. Okay, now I want to put my highlighter in the proper spot. So I'm going to use the candlelight powder. It's right here. Um, I like the um, cream, the candlelight cream. Um, it's called the creamy highlighter. But I think the, I don't know, I like the candlelight powder. I think it's subtle and pretty. So you can see that there. I just do, that's basically it. Just kind of really lightly kind of go in and highlight. Okay, and then this is also going to go up above this part of my eyebrows and down the middle of my nose, right here and right here. Bam! Done. Okay, um, now I want to go in with a bronzer where I did my contour because I just want to get it a bit more intense. Um, and I'm going to actually use this big, the big old brush with my bronzer. Um, this is the uh, Hourglass radiant radiant bronze light really pretty i've tried i tried laguna i've tried um i went to the store and tried the laura mercier baked one i love this i went for this one over that one because it's just so pretty so smooth it's mixed in with that radiant light um ambient lighting powder so it really adds like a smoothness so i'm kind of going like i'm kind of going like like a little almost like boop boop to kind of bring it up into my blush as well while also getting it kind of to help with the contour I'm working on here the light very light contour I'm working on here kind of bring it up in so I'm kind of using like I mean I don't have a bajillion brushes so I'm using like the edge of this brush because that's working for me so and I'm also going to go um, into this area here and work around the perimeter of my face. 
to add sort of to allow me to, to draw in the focus to the center of the face. Um, okay. Now I'm just going to like try and get rid of the stuff I have on this. Which kind of worked. And I'm just going to go in with um, a setting powder. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Uh, I heard a lot about it, so I went, got it, gave it a try. It does, it does help makeup stay on longer. Maybe one of the first setting powders that actually has done that. So, um, so I kind of just dust it over, and then I'm gonna plan to put a little bit more underneath my eyes because it does have kind of like a, a bit of a yellowy tint. So just to set that and to help brighten it a bit. Again, this is probably the completely wrong method, but. Whatever, it works for me, so. Okay. So that's the Laura Mercy Translucent Powder. Helps to set everything. I mean, this is not looking so bad just yet, so that's good. Um, I, I might want to go to some of my blush a little bit, because we've blended everything out, and I really do like that blush and the color it has, so let's just go in with it just one more time lightly. and All right, so you can see things. You can see things. It's excellent. All right. Next, um, I don't do eyeshadow really when I'm going day to day. I just do like a tiny bit of eyeliner and mascara, and then that's it. We're almost done. And how long has it been? Ah, like 15 minutes. Yes. Okay. 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 So I'm using the Marc Jacobs little um, liner, liquid liner. I'm gonna go as close to my eyelash line as I can because I want it to look natural. So it's impossible to do with one hand. Ah. This mirror is not working for me right now. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna lean in and do this. I do add a bit of a wing in at the end there. So it's just, it's, 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 it's there, but it's more subtle. I really try to focus on like the end portion here. Um, and then the um, mascara will help it to just look natural, like naturally full and dark, so. I'm satisfied. Okay. So that, and now mascara time. So this is the Guerlain um, Maxi Lash So Volume. I really like it. It's excellent. It's very, very effective, I find. I believe it only comes in black. Okay, so you can see, like, th this this mascara is legit, guys. Like, I've used Dior, I've used, like, all the kinds. Um, Benefit, they're real, it gets me all, like, itchy in the face. And so that one doesn't work for me. This one is a magical unicorn of all mascaras. So, I know some looks more intense than this one does, but they're both done, and good to go. There we go, that kind of looks better. Okay, so, um, that's basically it. Um, I think, sometimes depending on if my the top part gets a little bit too heavy, I want to put like a little bit of like darker um, eyeshadow just in the corners at the bottom here. 
which I mean, right now I'm, I'm, I'm good with this. I look, I feel like I look okay. Um, but I'll just show you what that looks like, uh, because I'm here. So when you're here, so I'll just show you. So I just take, um, this is the Mac, a Mac color. I don't know the name of it cause I can't seem to get this out of here, but, um, it's just like a dark brown, kind of warm brown color. Um, and I'm just going to rub it and I'm not going to go all the way, just a tiny bit in the corner here. So, um, I'm just going to do like this, just getting it in the lash line, just so it looks a little bit more full down at the bottom too. Otherwise I feel like it looks like a little bit imbalanced. So you can see, I just put a tiny bit here and it kind of helps to make both the top and the bottom even. Um, and if you're going for like a, like a 50s, I mean, obviously I'm getting ready for my day today, but if you are trying to do like a 50s thing, like the top winged like sexiness and like a dark lip is totally in. So, um, but for every day I want it to be more like, oh, I'm not looking at just the top of her eyelids kind of thing, which who says that is the real question. Nobody. Um, okay. So you saw like literally you changed from my bedroom to like, now I'm going to change and leave my house. Um, so pretty quick, pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, I think the things to remember are that this sex sens sexual sensual skin enhancer is magical i have no foundation on it's just here and like in a little couple spots i don't want it to, don't want people to see and um like here to kind of highlight um and it's awesome um and then what else do i want to highlight um my skincare routine that, that's my everyday morning and i find that it really does help to like wake everything up and kind of yeah i really i, really, I love my skincare routine i'm so happy with it right now um even though i have a couple zits um, and, uh, this blush, Luster, super pretty, super natural, um, really nice. If you can get this, sent, uh, oh, this book, uh, The Contour Book by Kevin O'Quan, it's definitely worth the value. Again, like, um, I can use most of these colors, so, like, this one, this one, and this one. Um, and I could use these if I wanted to, and I'm sure you guys could, too, be creative about it, but, um, yeah. Sorry, I'm, like, sniffly. So... Um, if anybody, and if you guys ask what brushes I use, like, I got a holiday set from Laura Mercier a long time ago, and I really have no idea what the numbers or kinds of these are, I just, you know, use them for whatever I can, um, but, like, evidence that it kind of can work, you can make whatever brush you're using work for you, so, um, oh, I guess I should, I mean, my eyebrows are okay, I, I broke, pull this out, but I use it sometimes, sometimes I don't, I just, I honestly, I just, like, fill in, like, little bitty bits that, um, are annoying to me. So, like, that, like, really not a heck of a lot I'm doing with them. Just kind of helping to fill them in a little bit. This is the Hourglass um, brow pencil. Um, and it's, it's different because it has an angled um, tip which I find is really good for like drawing in those straighter lines. That's what you're needing to do. So, my brush are naturally different shapes, so just ignore this stuff that's happening right now. I'm just gonna brush it out so that it looks more natural. Alright, that's it. That is all. We are done. This is it. This is the day to day. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching um, me at 5 o'clock in the morning, 5.45. Now it's 6 in the morning. <laughs> um, thanks for watching the process. The process. Alright guys, have a good day. Thanks so much. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff if you enjoyed. Um, and I will put some more stuff up soon. Thanks so much. Bye bye.